Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to day two of theCUBE's live coverage of the Red Hat Summit here in beautiful, sunny, but cold Denver, Colorado. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, along with my co-host and analyst, Paul Gillen. Paul, one of the things that, that Red Hat does so well is just makes, you really feel the sense of community here, and you feel the sense of the, the importance of these strategic partnerships and collaborations that Red Hat has yeah, throughout the ecosystem. You hear a lot of goodness from the partners and from the customers. One thing Red Hat does very well with this conference is it involves its customers as, pres as presenters on the main stage, uh, and they really let the customers do the talking, and I think they do that probably better than any other company in the industry. I would agree, I would agree. And a great segue to introduce our next two guests. We have Karthik Krishn Krishnamurthy, he is a VP of Product Management at Cloudera. Welcome, Karthik. Hello, nice to be here. And Arnie Arnold, he is a Senior Principal Product Manager at SAP Solutions Red Hat. Thank you so much for coming on theCUBE. Good morning, thanks for having us here. So speaking of, of strategic partnerships and collaborations, I know that, the, that you both, you are part of a strategic collaboration. I, I would love you to walk through our viewers what, what it means and, and what, it, what it does and what it means for customers. Karthik, let's start with you. <laughs> yeah, Cloud, uh, Cloudera and Red Hat have been partners for a very long time, for over 10 years. Um, we have joined solutions into the market, especially how our products work uh, closely with the Red Hat Enterprise uh, Linux operating system. 90% um, of our customers use RHEL as their base OS, and now we see a lot of customers transitioning from CentOS into RHEL, and RHEL gives us them the best sort of secure platform, uh, mitigates CVEs, uh, gives them up-to-date performance at scale that, that Cloudera's customers and Red Hat's customers use. Was the transition from CentOS to RHEL an easy decision, or did you look at alternatives seriously? Um, it is pretty slam dunk and, and straightforward. Uh, Red Hat, RHEL, and CentOS are mirrors of each other, and for customers it's a pretty straightforward uh, transition. And Red Hat makes it easy for customers to even move from CentOS to uh, REL, and then our customers, Cloudera's customers, who are running large data, uh, running petabytes and petabytes of data. Uh, we have about 25 exabytes of data on our platforms, and a lot of these customers want a secure operating system, right? Uh, because that's what InfoSec uh, policies mandate. So for them, it's pretty straightforward with their relationship with Red Hat and their relationship with uh, Cloudera as well. Arnie, I want to bring you into this conversation. How, how do you describe this partnership in terms of driving further innovation within the open source community? Because th that is, after all, Red Hat's sweet spot. Yes. Well, I mean, data is driving our today's businesses, and so at Red Hat, we have Red Hat Enterprise Linux built for enterprises, but we actually want to meet the customers where they are with the needs of their businesses, so we do focus more on some of uh, business critical workloads which actually are at the heart of a customer business. And so the partnership of Cloud, Cloudera is one of those partnerships, so we really want to make sure that we uh, tailor the operating system more to the needs of the application to deliver a more differentiated experience. And so working with Cloudera over the past by making sure that their workload is running on OpenShift as well as on top of Red Hat Enterprise Linux uh, is actually where we are providing additional value not only to our partners' operations but also to the end customer by actually making it more easy for the end customer to bring the joint solution, for example, to the InfoSec process, but also ensuring with our work which we do in regards to live kernel patching and being, being, being able to provide fixes for critical CVEs more faster to Cloudera and hence also to the end customer is making the difference. Now, in addition to making this migration, you've also released a number of operators for OpenShift. Uh, tell us what those are and, and why they're specifically of value to your customers. Absolutely, so our customers use Cloudera for the entire data life cycle. So right from the data at source, from ingestion all the way to using it for AI. And a lot of the streaming customers use OpenShift uh, for today's containerization and cloud native platforms. Now, our data in motion, which is what our suite of products are, which is Apache, Kafka, and uh, NiFi, 
um, and we built operators on them so they can run on the OpenShift infrastructure so customers can very easily deploy them and start deploying their data in motion or streaming data pipelines right away. And then they can combine those data with other static data, et cetera. And what this does is, especially for customers who want to move towards cloud native architectures, the power of OpenShift elasticity and the combination of our streaming solutions provides them an elastic solution that is cloud native and tomorrow it is easily expandable into the public cloud with a hybrid architecture, right? So it is not only starts with OpenChef, but also expands fully into a hybrid arch architecture uh, in the future as well. And for those who don't know, maybe you can just briefly explain what Apache NiFi is. Apache NiFi is a data flow, so we have all these different agents that can run on uh, different edge systems that collect data. So, uh, typically, an oil manufacturing or an oil extraction company could use it in edge refineries, et cetera, to collect data and send it over the wire to central systems where that data is processed. Um, another example is manufacturing data. So these are examples of data where uh, that is done uh, captured live or captured in bits and streams. And then the advantage of something like this is customers can then run SQL or live queries on streaming data, right? So when they run it on a platform like OpenShift, you can elastically scale based on the size of the data, size of the query, et cetera. So you're going through a lot of what the benefits are and what for, for existing as well as potential customers. Can you walk us through some of the other advantages of this partnership in terms of uh, security and reliability? Absolutely, so security, Today's world is of highest concern. Our customers come to us with several different asks and one of the top asks is uh, CVE mitigation, right? So most of the enterprise customers have very strict CVE mitigation policies. And about two years ago, we saw the whole Log4j uh, zero vulnerability, right? So zero day vulnerability happen. So how quickly we reacted into the market and how quickly not only just our platform but our partnership with Red Hat comes into play because it is not just your application or your application platform, it is also the end-to-end -end infrastructure. So customers can patch OpenShift, customers can patch Red Hat, uh, Enterprise Linux, and also us simultaneously as we have tools and mechanisms to automate large deployments with security patches. Now, in, in a large, data platform, reliability is obviously very important. <laughs> and, uh, that is why I think uh, we take great care in terms of testing our platform at scale with uh, our partnership with uh, specifically Red Hat here. We use some of their guidance on testing it in large OpenShift uh, uh, systems, et cetera, labs we have set up for uh, almost 30, 60, 90 day QE uh, sort of, uh, workflows to catch and remediate reliability issues that can happen before the product is released, right? And we also consume a lot of the uh, binaries from Red Hat as an early access customer, right? So that is where the partnership comes into play because as soon as Red Hat has um, a beta version of available, we start testing with it so that we don't have to wait for the end product to come before we uh, we test. So we our partnership here tremendously helps us sort of build our QE systems for catching and doing reliable um, tests over time and, and at the time of release, we are confident that we're putting out a stable system for customers. And I can only echo that. I mean, uh, security, it's about the entire supply chain, it's, ab it's about the entire stack, and so having the joint solution based on Red Hat Enterprise Linux uh, makes sure that actually customers and, and Cloudera operations can benefit from all the work which we do in the operating system by having SA Linux and FA Policy Daemon and all those features, but it also uh, yeah, means that uh, actually our ecosystem or partner ecosystem and we work with the hyperscalers which, which we do is of benefit to Cloud, Cloudera where we can make sure that we support also the hardware technologies which their instances provide are enabled in the operating system and hence enabled into the stack. And I think one, one aspect which you also mentioned which really stands out is really this 
breadth of technology in the portfolio, the integration between OpenShift and RHEL, uh, using standardized tools, having Red Hat Insights, enabling the op op operations team to easily identify any CVEs which needs to be patched, any other activities which needs to be carried out, um, having a similar life cycle, having one person to call for support, that is really where ultimately the customer gets the benefit from all those different pieces, interacting and integrating and making sure that the whole stack, uh, not just the piece which is running on OpenShift, vice versa, the piece is running on RHEL, but really the entire stack end-to-end -end is being secured by the work which we do and by the collaboration which we have together. Uh, Cloudera, for several years ago, positioned itself as a maker of tools for machine learning. Uh, LLMs have come along, how has that changed your priorities and, and your positioning? So, the generative AI market and the ML market has just exploded in the uh, last two years. Um, so we have a suite of products where we do NLP to SQL, uh, where we train all of the uh, languages, uh, queries, et cetera, so a customer can type almost the entire SQL in written English and it'll translate into queries. And we integrate into all of the known LLMs uh, in the market, whether it's Mistral, whether it is Llama, but not just the open source LLMs and the model registry that is provided by, with Hugging Face, but also uh, proprietary models because of our uh, integration into uh, AWS Bedrock as well as AWS um, SageMaker and all these other tools. And I think our partnership with OpenShift is, is very collaborative here in, in a couple of different ways. Um, because some of these on-prem customers deploy uh, data at scale and they have large amounts of data that they want to train for their LLMs. And that is where I think our partnership comes into play because when they run our ML models, uh, for either for traditional ML or uh, deep learning type workloads or for the modern gen AI and enterprise AI type workloads. I think running them on OpenShift uh, gives them the ability to quickly like uh, release things like Copilot into their customer base. Um, we have one customer out of APAC who uses Copilot uh, with OpenShift and Cloudera uh, quite a bit, they've built um, a whole suite of AI applications for their business analysts, but also for their Python developers, et cetera. So you can see that there's a broad range of applications coming out of this partnership and out of the collaborative power uh, of both technologies. I want to go back to something that Arnie was talking about earlier in the conversation around the importance of meeting customers where they are. How do the two of you, and, and the partnership at large, I mean, how are you talking with customers, getting their feedback on what their pain points are, the challenges that they're facing, and then, and then coming together to, to collaborate and solve their problems? I mean, it, it's something that, that at least Paul was saying, it's something that Red Hat appears to be doing, that appears to do quite well. Um, but how do you work together to make sure you are, in fact, answering and addressing customers' needs? I mean, if it comes to the cloud, cloud solution, uh, the customer primarily contacts cloud, Cloudera directly. If you talk about more of a private cloud, cloud solution, we may be more, more directly engaged and actually we are serving the needs of the end customer also in terms of the operations. So all what I mentioned earlier, now benefiting in the cloud solution in regards to insights and automation, all that piece. That is something where we have in the private deployment also for a direct customer relation. But in the end, it's a, it's a joint go to market to the, to the customer, uh, really focusing uh, on the business need which is served by the private cloud, cloud era data platform and then underpinned by the infrastructure which Red Hat pr provides and as we just talked about AI and we heard yesterday in the keynote, I mean AI and open source also is going closely together and so uh, yeah, looking into the future I think that also creates a great oppor opportunity to uh, even deepen that, that partnership also in that area of AI running on top of OpenShift and RHEL. Yeah, if we can quickly just add a couple of lines to it, I think we have a lot of customers who are joint customers, so it is, conversation is fairly natural, uh, extension of our conversation, so when we talk about Cloudera products, it automatically expands into the underlying ecosystem that it had provides, and vice versa. So we have alliance partnerships established uh, between both companies, we do a lot of joint events like what we do here at the Red Hat Summit, 
Um, we've also done the same thing at the KubeCon where we were uh, partners are, as part of the Red Hat booth there to give live demos. So we have a lot of demos and how the products work together built in with OpenShift plus our data services. So uh, customers who come look at these demos, look at how the products work together um, or, automa or automatically enthused to go take up these two together. And they see you as one. Yes, exactly. absolutely. Excellent. Well, Arnie and Karthik, thank you both so much for coming on theCUBE. A really, really fun conversation. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot also. I'm Rebecca Knight for Paul Gillen. Stay tuned for more of theCUBE's live coverage of the Red Hat Summit. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in enterprise technology coverage.